Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com for premium picks. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there. Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, last weekend, Marcus Maidana deconstructed Adrian Broner in a brilliant performance. He won the fight officially by unanimous decision, right? Realistically, he won the fight by several rounds, right? Each judge's scorecard, in my opinion, has credibility, right? He clearly was in control of the fight pretty much from start to finish. He dropped Adrian Broner twice. It's also important to remember that Marcus Maidana is the champion right now at 147 pounds. In other words, he has a share of the title in Manny Pacquiao's weight class. So, given that Maidana's performance is fresh in our memories, before we forget his fight style, let's talk about a hypothetical fight between himself and Manny Pacquiao who is scheduled to fight again in April. What happens if these two meet? Keeping in mind that Manny Pacquiao just deconstructed Brandon Rios in his last fight, right? In my opinion, and let me just add a disclaimer. The disclaimer is, I thought Adrian Broner was going to beat Marcus Maidana. It's possible that I might just have a blind spot when it comes to Marcus Maidana. People here online will recall that years ago, I thought Eric Morales had a chance against Marcus Maidana. Right? That fight, Morales did do a lot better than the public expected. I actually thought he had a chance to win the fight. Uh, okay, so, Morales did have a bad eye in that fight. Be that as it may, I want everyone to know up front that it's possible that I have a blind spot when it comes to Marcus Magdana, right? I have picked against him on a couple of fights where he has delivered, right? So, with that in mind, let me just say that I believe if Manny Pacquiao fought Marcus Magdana, I think Manny Pacquiao wins that fight by a wide margin, right? The play I would like in that fight would be Pacquiao to win. Hedged with Madonna by KO, I believe Madonna would only have a puncher's chance. <coughs> wow, this video is difficult already. Anyway, let's talk about why. As I've said before, you see it in the Devin Alexander fight. Marcus Maidana needs a moment before his attack, right? Devin Alexander moved around the ring, and you notice that Marcus Maidana needed to reset his feet. I encourage the gamblers to give that fight a good look, right? Well, let's think about Manny Pacquiao for a moment. Rhythm counts for a lot in boxing. Manny Pacquiao has a Joe Fraser bounce, right? You'll see it. Prime Pacquiao. If you look at the films, you'll see Manny's outside and he's bouncing like this, right? Before his attack, he bounces. That Joe Fraser type bounce serves a purpose. It freezes opponents, right? Because as Manny Pacquiao goes like this, I don't know when he's going to throw a punch. And Pacquiao is quick with the punch. There's not a lot of tell on it. Right? And so I don't know when he's going to throw a punch. First of all, he's moving. Second of all, I don't know when he's going to throw a punch. Already, Pacquiao has introduced a dynamic that Adrian Broner doesn't have. Right? Broner is more in front of you stationary like this. He's not bouncing. 
right? There's no rhythm, eminent danger. If I'm Marcus Maidana and I need to set up shop for a moment before getting off punches, when a guy is bouncing, that gives me pause, especially when the guy has the hand speed that Manny Pacquiao has, right? Because Pacquiao, while he's bouncing, can get off hard concussive punches in the blink of an eye. So guys who bounce, they freeze you. Mike Tyson, right? A guy who comes in and he's bouncing like this. It's not all defense. It's also offensive, right? I believe that bounce would destabilize Marcus Maidana, right? Maidana wants you stationary in front of him so he can set his feet and do damage. Maidana's not defensively gifted. If you have the blinding hand speed that Manny Pacquiao does, and if you're moving in front of him ever so slightly with the imminent threat of an immediate punch, I believe Marcus Maidana would have a problem getting off his own shots. That's the first point. The second point is that the spacing against Manny Pacquiao just doesn't work for Marcus Maidana. Why? One of Maidana's best punches is when he gets right up on you and he literally drops a right hand. He likes to throw the right hand over your guard. So he likes to have that hand up here so he can drop it down, right? He's dropping it down at, let's say, a 45-degree angle from up top. What that means is he has to be right up on top of you to get off that high right hand. Right? He has to literally be near you for that. Well, understand Manny Pacquiao has some of the best legs in boxing. It's hard to get close to Manny Pacquiao. Manny's not going to stand there like Broner and dare you to get up close to him. Rather, Pacquiao's bouncing around. In addition to moving side to side, Pacquiao's moving his feet. So I don't believe that Maidana would have the brief moment that he needs to set his feet to get that high arching shot off. Nor do I believe that Maidana would be close enough to Manny Pacquiao to get that shot off. Right? So that high right hand would be neutralized, in my opinion, because Pacquiao moves too well and Maidana wouldn't get close enough to throw it. So a major weapon that Maidana has would be neutralized. Let me also say Maidana's left hand to the body that he used effectively against Adrian Broner, that at times, due to the way he throws it, the loop, he was able to then turn and hit Broner up top flush, right? Had Broner thinking it was coming to the body, then was able to hit Broner with the same punch up top. I believe that left hand also gets neutralized because Manny Pacquiao can fight low. Manny Pacquiao can bend at the waist. The mobility and the bend would make it hard for Broner to land, excuse me, not Broner, but Maidana to land that left to the body. Ask yourself, when's the last time you saw a guy fight Manny Pacquiao and routinely land lefts to Manny Pacquiao's body? Doesn't really happen. Pacquiao's not the tallest man in the gym, right? And when he's bouncing and moving, he's low, right? So someone like Maidana, who wants to time his punches, wouldn't be able to have success, in my opinion, with that left hand to the body. And once you take away the effectiveness of that left to the body, you're taking away a lot of the effectiveness of Maidana's left hand.
because his left hand works so well because you can't tell if he's throwing it to the body or the head. Well, Pacquiao would know that he can't land it to the body. Right? So I believe a big part of Maidana's arsenal against Broner, that effective left hand, which is a switch, right? You know, throws it sometimes to the body, sometimes to the head, and you can't tell. So poor Broner sometimes in the fight gets hit flush with that left hand. That punch wouldn't be touching Manny Pacquiao, in my opinion, down low. Right? Let me also point out that Pacquiao's a southpaw, just like Devin Alexander. Right? Very hard to land a left hand against a southpaw. So, right? Again, the angles don't work for Maidana. Rather than that left hitting right-handed, Broner, that left would be telegraphed for southpaw Manny Pacquiao, right? I think Maidana's left hand also gets taken away from him. Let me talk about some other problems he would have. You heard Pauli Malinaji who was brilliant on the telecast uh, of the Maidana Broner fight. Keep in mind, he had just fought Broner. <clears throat> you heard Malinaji talk about the fact that Marcus Maidana can't fight backing up. Right? Let's face it, Maidana's a bully. He bullies you. He doesn't want to get bullied. Well, here's the problem. Right? Always being on your front foot isn't a good thing at the highest levels of boxing. Because number one, that's where Manny Pacquiao wants you to be. Right? If you're aggressive, <coughs> if you're aggressive with Manny Pacquiao, then you pay the same price that Antonio Margarito paid and that Brandon Rios just paid. Right? Because Manny Pacquiao is good at dancing away and setting you up when you're always following him around the ring. The guys who give him a harder time are guys like Juan Manuel Marquez, who, rather than chase Pacquiao, is actually at the side of the ring, luring Pacquiao into a trap to end their series. Right, Marquez is a guy who boxes you and sets traps. He's not always on his front foot. Marcus Maidana, by being on his front foot, would literally fall into the same potholes that Margarito and Rios did. Pacquiao would know exactly where he would be. So Pacquiao would be able to walk him into the straight left hands that are the foundation of Pacquiao's attack. Let me just close by also saying, Adrian, Brono's, Adrian Broner is low volume. Look at the CompuBox numbers. He doesn't throw a lot of punches. He's high accuracy, he's low volume. Well, Manny Pacquiao's high volume, right? A Pacquiao Maidana fight wouldn't be an opportunity for Maidana to simply throw more punches than his opponent, even if he's landing them at a lower rate than his opponent, which is what he did against Broner. Understand Pacquiao would meet fire with fire. It's unclear whether Maidana would even have the punch advantage on Manny Pacquiao. I'm here to tell you Maidana's punch output would be decreased because of Pacquiao's movement. Whereas Pacquiao would know that he has a defensively challenged big man right in front of him. Right? So, there wouldn't be the volume disparity that you had in the Maidana-Broner fight. To sum up, <clears throat> I think Pacquiao wins the fight. I think Maidana would only have a puncher's chance. And it's important. Because, of course, 
Madonna right now has the belt at 147 pounds, right? If that fight takes place, I'll be rolling with Manny Pacquiao in that one, right? Movement kills, movement and angles are underrated in boxing, right? People talk about punching power. The punching power doesn't matter if the punches don't land. Also, punching power only matters at certain angles. Madonna's high right hand is devastating when he's up on you and he's able to throw it from up close. He's not a guy who throws that punch from distance. If he never gets close enough to Manny Pacquiao, that punch is neutralized. The punching power doesn't matter. Right? Madonna's going to have to set up the angles. And he's going to have to deal with Manny Pacquiao's Bob. I think he'd have a problem doing both. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. A lot of Madonna fans have left comments to the Broner videos. I encourage all of them to leave their comments here. I know Madonna's a big puncher. I know he's the champion. I know he has a straight jab. I know Robert Garcia has lifted his game. Styles make fights. Pacquiao's movement, his bounce, his volume, the angles don't match up, in my opinion. Let me hear yours. Thanks for stopping by.